a warm welcome to you. Hey, thanks for joining me. Guys, this is a reading for March. It's an overall reading for everyone. So it includes all astrology signs and it's coming to you from the realms of the angelics the high vibrational frequencies, the unicorns and the elementals, fairies and pixies. So there's a whole different bunch of decks of cards that you can see in front of you and what we will do is just randomly pull from whichever ones we feel like or I guess whichever one I feel like at the time and we will just place them face up here and we will read one after the other and see what type of messages are coming your way. And with that in mind, I think just to give them a quick shuffle, placing the intention of this reading into it for you all. So this is for March. This is an angelic high vibrational frequency reading to just help any of you to gain insight or clarity around questions or issues you might have in any topic matter. There are also some romance cards included in the reading, which is up here in this corner. I'm not sure how many times we will be feeling uh, driven to pull from the romance in particular, but we will just see what pops out. So I'm just, as I say, shuffling. Just bear with me while I do this. Shuffle each deck with the intention of this reading for you. These are a deck of cards called Angels, Gods and Goddesses by Tony Salarini. Not a deck I use often, but today I felt like getting them out. They're quite intense, they give quite deep messages, these ones. Again, not sure how many times we'll pull from that deck. These are the Doreen Virtue Saints and Angels. It's a lovely deck, very light usually has one word on the card and you work from the one word. One of my all-time favorites, an old deck, is this one here. It's Doreen Virtue's Daily Guidance. It's a beautiful deck and for anyone thinking of going into, you know, becoming a reader themselves or wanting to buy a deck of cards just for daily oracle work, I highly recommend this one. It is a great starting deck but at the same time, it's still a really good deck to use at any time for any readings. So I can't remember if we'd shuffled this yet, the romance. We'll shuffle it again in case we have, but I don't think we have. So this is a general reading for everyone for March, just coming from the angelic vibrations. There may be some specific messages passed across for certain people. You'll know if a certain message really speaks to you, so you'll feel it yourself at your end, and you'll go, yep, I think that's talking to me. So I'm going to start with a unicorn card. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You know, what a beautiful, light way to start the reading with laughter. You need a good laugh. And there's no doubt that sometimes the, the realm of the angelics and the fairies, elves and pixies and unicorns in particular, I think more than perhaps the angelic realm, are very much known for their pleasure they take in providing lightness of being, which includes things like laughter and fun and engagement along those lines in your daily tasks but they also bring it to you from their perspective they can sometimes create things that are quite funny i mean even starting off this reading with this card in many ways you've seen we've shuffled all of the different decks available to us and we start off with laughter so i think this is a very good message for everyone on the planet at this time there is a lot of heaviness around there's a lot of heaviness in terms of planetary lineups, the vibrations that are coming from those planetary juxtapositions. You know, we've started the year off with the two eclipses, which were very intense. We've had supermoons. We've got Mercury in retrograde at the moment. We've got all sorts of different parables or, or stories going on, depending on what philosophy or belief system you're following as well. And a lot of them are heavy. And you look at it around the globe from the human perspective, the politics that are going on. There's the Brexit issue. There's the 
potential war with Pakistan and India at the moment. There's the whole crisis through the Middle East. There's Russia making moves in different directions. There's the USA with its own inner turmoil within its political parties and its president there. There's um, every country practically has something that's going awry or being unearthed or being uprooted or uncentered one way or another. So I think the message behind it might be that we need to incorporate this feeling freer, feeling lighter, knowing that it's happening for a reason, that we are moving forward and to include the high vibrational essences like love, laughter, happiness, enjoyment in our daily grind, in our daily chores. Every day we have to get up and go to work or, and read another horror story on the news or something along those lines. So yeah, a, a good positive message for every single one of you listening to this reading. I'm sure that's not a specific message for one person. Uh, where, where to next? <laughs> where to next? Sometimes that's another thing when when we allow a lot of choice in our life, like look at all the cards there, you know, how do I make a decision as to where to pick from? I don't know. But sometimes in life we have many decisions or rather we have many choices to make and we have a lot of things to choose from and sometimes we can't make the decision. And when we don't make a decision, what happens? Exactly this, you get a stalemate. You don't go any further ahead. You don't find any more messages or answers. So far in the reading, this is all we've got. Is this as good as it gets? No, it's not, because I'm about to pick another card. And I'm going to pick this one from this deck because it was on an angle. Ah, oh, heaven is watching over you. The how beautiful, and that's your guardian angel. I love the little baby there with being gently nurtured by the angelic being. So this could be a message for some of you about children in your life or if you have any worries around a child currently at the moment. For some of you, if you have a sick child, because I'm thinking of that little beautiful child, just adorable, but I'm thinking that I get the feeling of a child in bed sick. So if any of you have a child who is sick in bed, know that something and someone is tending them and watching over them. Please also remember that you can ask for their help and support in whatever way is needed. There's a whole raft of angels called the unknown angels and apparently they can respond to your requests quicker than some of the main archangels because the archangels are trying to save the planet basically at the moment so they are supposedly inundated with requests. So calling upon the unknown angels can be a very worthy move as we've, you know, let's face it, we've got 7 billion people on the planet, a lot of them asking for requests or needing some sort of intervention or help to stay alive. So these unknowns have far more time and energy to be able to pursue and to follow our requests. So remember that, that the you could call it a guardian angel if you like, but there's also, as I say, this realm of unknown angels who can tend to most any request you have. So don't forget to ask for their support. There's one thing about the unknown angels from the understanding that I've read about them, you must ask out loud, and I don't know why this is. Well, I do. I'll clarify it. We have so many jumbled thoughts in our mind during the day, and often our thoughts are just billowing up one behind the other behind the other, a little bit like our use of technology. You know, you might be on your computer sitting there, and you might have eight background pages open, and you might be flipping between page after page after page, and you know, blah, 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 blah all this stuff going on, multitasking. Well, our brains are no less powerful than the world's most powerful computer. So our brains have a whole bunch of pages open and they are multitasking at any given time. So if you don't put the words out there and form them as structure, but just use them in your mind like a thought, they get confused with the other pages that are open in your brain. 
So if you are sending this message out to one of these unknown angels who are there ready in the thousands to help you, then if you don't clarify it and put the words out succinctly and clearly, the message becomes jumbled and then sometimes you won't receive the help. Now, the word has it that there are literally tens of thousands of these unknown angels waiting in the wings to do the work, to do the help, because that's what they're there for. That's their calling in life. That's their energetic vibration to offer lightness of being, to offer help and support and to try and clarify situations or find a way forward. So very, very powerful message for you guys behind that one. It started off with the child, the sick child for any of you who felt that was personal. Um, and it could even be to do with a pregnancy if any of you are worried about a pregnancy as well. Uh, ask these unknowns for help in whatever area it is you need. You don't have to say it you know, screamingly out loud, but you do have to verbalize it one way or another, even if it is a whisper. Let's see where to next. I want to come back to the unicorns. They've been really talking to me lately and I'm not sure why I don't use this deck very often either. Yeah, uh, it's okay to be different. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are. And the reality of that card is we are all individual. None of us are ever like another person in real terms. You are you and I am I. The, the, we can't be each other. Consequently, we can't necessarily feel the same as each other. So how I feel something or respond to it or think about it will be different than the way you feel about something or respond to it or think about it. So all of those things make us completely unique and individual. And it's important that you realize that worth and that you honor your uniqueness because that's what makes you you. So if any of you have felt like you're pushing boundaries or you haven't been accepted for something, whether it be through a community or a group of friends or your belief systems or like a workplace, or even your health or the type of um, behaviors you have, provided they are not hurting you or other people, then go for it. Be unique, be different, be bold. Don't be boxed in by the rigid doctrination of strictures in society. We are lucky enough to have been born into a time or a timeline where rules are changing by the day. We are gaining more and more personal freedom, interpersonal freedom, global and planetary freedom than we have ever had before. Are we doing it all right? Are we making all the right choices? Does everything, every corner we turn, is it always perfect? No. But that's how you learn. That's how societies grow. That's how humanity evolves. And we don't evolve if we were all the same, like robots. So yeah, explore your difference and be proud of it. And don't ever be ashamed or afraid of it in any way. I think for the next one, I'm going to go, well, I'm going back here. Oh, okay. Pause. Another guardian angel coming to you. I love the colors in this card. It's very much the violety color, which in real terms, there's a lot of in the background. If you look at all of these decks here, they hold this violet hue and they've all been grouped in this order over here. Now the violet or purple, as you could say, relates to the third eye and also the crown chakra. So there may be something in this area of your body that is requiring you to pause. Now, when we pause, we, ref we take reflection. When we take reflection, we are able to discern with more clarity answers and directions moving forward. So pausing in life allows clarification and clarity, insight, answers. It connects us to our intuitive abilities and being. 
it enables us to take the time to survey and assay options and choices, which we talked about earlier as well. So in learning to pause, it gives us great opportunity to allow the allow the freedom of going left or right, up or down, or even recovering from something. So some of you, this pause may not be so much about seeking an insight or awareness or answer, but rather the pause may be more about taking a breath, slowing down, taking some time out from your busy schedule, relaxing, breathing, enjoying, including laughter. Any of these things could be part of the pause in your life. It could be very beneficial to your health for some of you to slow down, regroup and recharge your batteries. Let's go to this one. Beautiful creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion toward your life. Now there's a couple of things I want to say because with the card that was just under it we talked about when we pause, we reconnect with our intuitiveness, which is where our creativity spawns from or, you know, is born from. We see this beautiful swirling light down onto her head with these angelic beings infusing her creativity with passion, ideas and movement. And we talked about the crown chakra with all of the beautiful blues, oh sorry, the purples and the indigos with this card as well. So the third eye chakra and the crown chakra, which were about being connected to your intuitive abilities, which helps your creativity. So for some of you, I feel these two cards are very connected, enabling you to look at taking the pause to get through a creative block or to find more creativity and bring some more passion in. If some of you have been wanting to start a project, especially if it's career related or if it's a hobby or passion, this pause enabling you to hear and see and feel again is going to be activated for some sort of creativity and it's being activated by this angelic or this light frequency realm. So yeah, really nice couple of cards there, I think working together really well. Let's take one from over here. Affirmations. Again, this is one of my favorite things in life. To lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. I think it's almost as simplistically clear as the laughter card. There are a million and one positive affirmations any of us can choose to use. And rather than seeing or feeling ourselves doing something wrong or feeling off or not thinking that we're doing it right, reaffirm positivity around all areas of your life. Everything that you are undertaking, whether it's your health, whether it's your job, whether it's your home, whether it's your family, your love life, your other relationships, your own life, your higher self, your, your collective conscious energies, whatever we are referring to, put some positive spin into it. Okay, let's take one from the romance deck. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. 
positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, love it when the universe works like this. So this card here, positive affirmations. And I just finished saying, whatever it is you want to infuse in your life, whether it was relationships, romantic relationships, put these positive affirmations into it. And what did we say here? Stay optimistic, use positive affirmations. So whoever out there was wanting a message around a love life issue, and you're thinking, oh, I'm either not having much luck, or I can't find the right partner, or our partnership is in a rocky phase, or I'm thinking I chose the wrong partner, put some positivity into the area that you want clarified. If you feel you've chosen the wrong partner, and you're thinking, well, how do I find out? Find a positive catchphrase. Ask for one of these unknown angels to come in and help guide you. Provide answers as to whether you're with the right partner. So don't think about it negatively. Look at it as a positive solution. You'll either be given an affirmation saying, yes, you are with the right partner, or you'll be provided with some other insight helping you to move on or helping you to see how to make change. If some of you feel like you just can't attract a partner, stay optimistic, use positive affirmations. You know, great message there for all of you, especially around romantic or love partnerships. Those two definitely seemed to pair up together. Let's come up here. We haven't seen Tony Salarino's deck. Ah, uh, Angel of Soul Love. Time to look at how you value yourself, issues of self-love. Now, again, this can be tied back to the positive affirmations. And in this instance, I'm going to read to you from the book because some of these are very poignant, the words from the book. The world around you is simply a reflection of your inner world beliefs and feelings. There is a person or a group of people in your life at present who keeps putting you down and undervaluing what you say or do. The angel of soul love realizes that this is a painful and hurtful situation for you and has shown up in your reading today to help you work through and heal this issue. From a higher perspective, all happens as an act of love. The people in your life at present are simply here to help you face your own feelings of inadequacy, self-worth and self-love. That is not to say that you should pat them on the back for making you feel small or sad. Rather, it is the opposite. Stand up for yourself regardless of what others think or say and know that you are eternally worthy of love. In essence, you are a wondrous and beautiful being of light and love. You are held in eternal embrace by the soul of creation, loved and valued more than you will ever know. Start to have loving thoughts for yourself. You are perfect just as you are. There is no need to change anything about you except for the perceptions you hold about yourself. Affirm to yourself many times each day, I am love, I am light, I value and honour myself through my thoughts and through all I say and do. The more I love and value myself, the more love and value I attract from those around me. Wow, wow, wow. How many cards now, how many messages have we received about being positive about ourselves, about not being worried about being the individual that we are, about using positive affirmations, about holding ourselves in higher respect and having a greater self-esteem and self-worth? One. Stay optimistic, be positive, positive affirmations. It is okay to be different. A whole bunch in here all coming to talk about 
these same issues through and through. So some really nice connective messages in here and I think they do pertain a lot to relationships or how you feel about yourself or your relationships with others as well. Let's have a look at this. Ah, oh, the heart chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It is safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. It is a truly beautiful card and it really does embellish love so deeply. It, it is giving you the grace of a gentle nurturing love from your spirit world, from yourself from the angelics, from the higher vibrational energies, it's wrapping you in tender, loving care. So for anyone who has been pained in love, whether it be familial love, such as families, or whether it be romantic love, know that there is healing taking place. Know that you can ask for healing and know that you can ask to release any pain. No! <laughs> exactly. That was just a whole bunch of acorns falling off the oak tree, ready to seed themselves from their original big tree. And that's Stevie barking at the activity that just occurred. So anyhow, we'll carry on. The other message of this card is very much about the heart chakra. That's a beautiful labradite stone on there, which is very much the healing energy of the greens, you know, through the heart chakra area. Some of you may have an issue with your heart, a physical issue, and some of you may know people in your life who have a physical health issue with the heart at the moment. So I think it's a good time to be urged to do a practical checkup to make sure that your heart health is at its most physical optimum that it can be. And I'm sure most of you know all of the various perspectives and ways that you can treat this. Now another message of this card is that there is someone who has passed over from a heart issue in your life. So this is a, a personal message for some of you and I said there would be some personal and that you would know if it was you. So if there is someone who passed over from a heart event such as a heart attack or a heart failure or something in the chest such as lungs or also breast cancer, this is a message that they are around you and they just want to know that they still support your your life with love and nurture and that they're around and they actually are saying hello at this moment in time. Now it's interesting my dad passed away on the 28th of February some many years ago and he died of a heart attack and I was just well we've only just passed the 28th of February now and I have thought about him a lot lately so I'll take that as a personal message for me from my dad. So yeah, for any of the others of you out there who have a similar experience or someone who has passed over from a heart issue, that was a personal message. Okay, where to next? Bingo. We've got the child back again. Yeah, so, um, the child could be needing attention for many different reasons. I'm not disinclined to think this is a message for us again about the child within us. And it takes us back to the first card, which resonates with laughter. You know, this is another message again about being lighthearted, full of being like a child, incorporating laughter and fun and pleasure because that's exactly what this child is doing. So if we have a look there, she's a happy child. 
and not like the other one before who was a child in bed but this little girl is just singing away down in the garden with her ukulele and her angel wings on her back having a wonderfully happy childlike time and again these ones are very imbued in fun and gaiety with like all the little critters around them so I think there's a message just it's reiterating we're, we're really getting doubles up of the messages in the reading which is a good sign because it tells us that we have got these celestial helpers involved in the reading that they really are pursuing the messages that they want to get across and they just reiterate them but for some of you again this could be about a child that's on your mind or it could be for some of you the potential to work with children or that children are important to you there's a possibility that you are thinking of going into a career that is supported with working with children whether it be teaching nurturing mentoring caring for anything along those lines so if that is the message for you and you find this is really connecting it's a positive message to say go ahead this is exactly what you're intended to do let's have a look over here again oh my god oh. Wow, your connection with children is part of your life's purpose. I mean, seriously. What were the odds of that happening? With all these different decks, and you saw them all being shuffled, and I'm randomly picking them. It's profound. And I, you know, what makes it even better is that what we see when I just said to you, know that the spirits, they're here, like the celestial workers the angelics also the fairies the pixies the elves they're all here in this reading and they love to do things like this this is their laughter for us as well saying yes guys listen to us we are definitely passing out messages for some of you so i'm glad who those of you who have joined this is a magical reading uh, some of you will also be having a child come into your life and it could be a new child, whether it's through an integrated family, whether through it's something like an adoption or possibly a pregnancy that has been, you know, waited for for a long time. There could be some of you about to reach this, you know, long awaited pregnancy. There could be something about children that you do have to pay attention to. And we've certainly had enough cards within the reading that someone requires your attention and time in your life and it's a, a child and that's for those of you who that message really resonates with angel of joyfulness something wondrous and magical is about to happen i don't think we need to read from the book particularly for this one but just knowing that that's a really positive you know it's giving us energy and excitement and like wow great bring it on I can't wait for that to come into my life so again individually whatever that means for you in particular come back again the unicorns you are gifted you are very intelligent and talented again just perfect positive affirmations for you focus on it see the words feel it and get into it daydream you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts just notice any feelings visions or ideas as if you were watching a movie this is the seat of creativity and that one matches perfectly with the wherever i put it with the pause and notice very similar color palette and we're talking back again about the third eye receiving intuitive messages for yourself becoming more creative finding answers trusting your gut instinct and you know really connecting with yourself at that part of life it's a powerful way that one jumped off 
practice makes perfect, another guardian angel, another very simplistic message, don't give up, keep going at what you're doing, it, don't take shortcuts. Uh, for some of you who might have been thinking of that, sometimes to get something done properly, you have to do it the long way round, and the long way round often takes a little bit more practice. Let's pop up here to the to this one. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. We're, so we're seeing a little bit of a glitch here in the two cards that we have pulled from the romance deck. They are, you know, the first one was it wasn't a glitch, but it was say saying stay optimistic so what it was suggesting to a lot of us was that there isn't you know romance smoothly happening at the moment but your optimism will help change that it's also saying there may be some red flags around now this could be in current relationships and I talked before about the fact that you know if you felt you were in the wrong relationship with someone look into it further, do something about it, make some decisions, ask for some celestial support, ask for some answers to be provided because some of you have got a little bit of a warning flag up there and it could be behavioral issues, it could be a situation that you're really trying to make it work with a person and if you you know look a little bit broader or look a bit deeper you might say to yourself hmm I'm kind of doing all the work here. I'm doing all the, you know, the effort to make this happen. What's the other person doing? Is this relationship equally balanced? That might be something worth thinking about because all relationships should have a fair balance within them. What have we got over here from our fairies, pixies and elves? Beautiful, perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. Fabulous card, beautiful colour of blue really resonating through here. So I often think of that could be something to do with communication. So communicating to someone about whatever this is that your perfect timing is going to involve. For some of you it could be a deal, like signing something, so um, contractual, which is also communication. So it doesn't have to be verbal, it may be contractual documents that some of you are going on to sign. This could be about a new business, a new job offer, a new house that you're moving to, uh, the purchase of something that you're signing the documents for. It could be a court of law or legal documents, family uh, issues, anything along those lines as well. But know that it is perfect timing. We're only going to do two more cards. And the hard question again, you know, which one to pick because I have no idea. Um, I'm going to come up here. Oh, beautiful. You know, life purpose. And we've talked a lot before because we've had so many children cards come up that for some of you, you are wondering about what to do. You know, what is your soul telling you? What is your soul showing you? What are you feeling in life? And as I mentioned, we are seeing such great shifts and changes on this planet. This is the time for freedom, for choices, for a movement, for availability, for self-expression, for finding fulfilling pleasure in everything that we do. So this card says, the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. There's a lot of the words purpose in that card and I think that's the word to focus on. What is your life purpose? So don't question yourself too deeply but start to allow the daydreaming and the pausing in life and the laughter to come through to enable you to fully connect with what it is your soul longs to do. And remember, we constantly change. We're in the ebb and flow of life. There is no set rule. There is 
no set specific. We can be wanting to be a teacher one year, wanting to be a learned professor the next. We can be wanting to be a, a magician or an alchemist. We can be wanting to be a healer. It doesn't matter if our soul's purpose change whenever the feelings or desires come. Nothing is set in stone. So don't think that because you may have chosen a pathway and you think, oh, I'm either, it was the wrong one or I'm not feeling enlightened with it or I'm not feeling connected to it. Don't be afraid to change. There's nothing wrong with that. It's all part of who you are and where you're headed. Every single part of you, everything you've done, is right. It is part of the who you are now. One last card. I bet you're all sitting there going, pick this one, pick that one, pick one of those. <laughs> hmm. This is probably a convoluted one, and it's because I said this is an intense deck. No, it's nice. Lovely purples and blues coming through again. Angel of support. The universe has heard your silent call for help. Let's just see that one a little bit closer. And I will read these words, and that will finish the reading for this angelic reading for March. So Angel of Support. So we had the two angels from that deck because you can get gods and goddesses. But I remember in the very beginning I said it was the angels, fairies, elves and pixies. And that's interesting that from that deck only the angels did come forth. So that again just resonates with what we were talking about, who we were working with. And remember, I said to you the 10,000 unknowns. Well, this in fact, this is a beautiful way to finish because this is an example of the unknown angels, the angel of support. That's one of them. Um, that other one that we had out before, which was the angel of soul love, that's another one of these unknown angels. So there are so many for you to call upon, to never feel as though something isn't solvable, to never feel alone, to never feel afraid and, and in fear. There's always something and someone there. The universe has heard your silent call for help and has sent an angel to support and guide you through the current circumstances. Your financial and emotional well-being is about to take a turn for the better through an unexpected blessing or sudden change in fortune that is soon to come your way. Surrender all fear and anxiety to God and trust. The universe is conspiring to help you. Emotional, spiritual and material support come through a seemingly chance encounter with someone new or through an unexpected offer. Stop worrying. What a beautiful card to finish a really gorgeous reading on. I love it. I've loved the reading. I love the format. I would really like you to leave your comment, comments below the video to tell me if you like this particular format as well. I've really enjoyed doing it because it's very non-scripted. None of us know what's coming. We don't know what messages we will actually receive. So it's very fluid and, you know, on the moment, bang, bang, bang. I love it, but do you guys like it? So let me know with your comments. I really would appreciate it. If I get a, a good positive feedback, then we'll do more of them like this. So thank you again for tuning in, guys. Please sub the channel and push the notification button. And that way, all of you and more and more and more of you will be able to hear these beautiful positive messages of support, encouragement, understanding, uh, finding answers and solutions as well. And in fact, just as we finish off, 
I am going to put these two beautiful crystals in here. They have been calling to me while I've been doing this reading the whole time. They're two light green crystals, obviously. <laughs> um, this is aquamarine and this is fluorite in an octahedron shape. The colours of them have just been singing the whole time that I have been doing this reading. So I just want to zoom in a little bit on them and uh, let you feel those as the last energies for the reading. Aquamarine is very calling and soothing and healing. It's very, very good for people traveling. So for any of you going traveling, it's a great stone to take as a protective stone. Uh, so it works in with, you know, dreaming, daydreaming, positive thoughts, things like that. And fluorite, this particular stone was actually taken to the Great Pyramid of Giza and it was taken into the king's chamber whereby it had been attuned to the frequencies of the Great Pyramid. So it is one of my deeply favorite stones and when I first got it off the lady who was the one who traveled to Egypt and took the stones in for this frequency tonal pitch that's been embedded into the crystals, the crystal itself was absolutely stunningly flawless and I was attracted to it in part for its beauty and flawlessness. And then I began to notice these imperfections in it. It's as if the frequency or the tonal uh, like light wave that had been put into the crystal w was too much for it and it started to uh, change shape and like get these imperfections and little n knocks out of it. So it's still a beautiful frequency and fluorite is a wonderful stone. It's the stone of healing, it's the stone of calming, it's the stone of insight and awareness um, and of course the, the shape, the geometric shape, very very powerful. So I hope you have all enjoyed the reading and the little crystals added in at the very end. Thank you for joining me everyone. Have a wonderful March and uh, much love to you all. Namaste.